believe this is the right thing to do. And it's not been an easy road, can I hear an amen? amen? It's still not an easy road. We're still on that, that, that faith journey. But if you're moved by decor and buildings and bricks and mortar, don't look to them for your faith. Look to God for your faith. Hallelujah, Let's see this Jesus. thing. Who'd ever thought, you know, just over 12 months on from moving this building, we'd have such a beautiful facility. Amen. Amen. We, we're here in, on, the, on the brink of, of moving into our community and opening the doors wide, not just for the community groups, but for the church as well. Mm. Mm. Praise God. We've had to get to the end of all this hard work and... Amen building work and financial work Amen. now we can come into the point where we can now offer it to our community Amen. 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 Start using it. i'm looking for the day when if you're not here for half past 10 you're not going to get a seat come on you might be in the overflow downstairs <laughs> watching us on the screen <laughs> Don't laugh because that's a laugh of unbelief, Sarah laughed in a heart. I'm telling you, friend, that's what I'm envisioning. Amen. I'm envisioning this place to be full. Amen. Not because of me, not because of you, but because we're obeying God's command. Hallelujah, Jesus. To go into all Hallelujah, the world and Jesus. The gospel. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. How can it be? Here's Abraham. He had no idea how it was all going to work out. But listen, like everyone, we're not to stop mm. short of what God's called us to do. Hallelujah. Just because we can't see how he's going to do it. Hallelujah. We've been there many times as a church, haven't we? Amen. Especially finances. We can't stop because we can't see how. Because faith believes how. Amen. Amen. Faith believes the how is in God's hands. Mm -hmm. We're not called to figure out the big picture and explain it to everybody. It's our job to go. Yes. It's our job to be the church. It's our job to live the life that God's called us. It's our job to take that step of faith. Give God our deepest possessions. Mm -hmm. I take, and Denise as well, we take great joy in faith challenges. Yeah. Not because we think we've got great faith, but we've got a great God. Hallelujah. And we want to see how he works this out. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't don't wait until, you know, I said last week, it's easy to believe God when the cupboards are full. Amen. It really is. It's when the cupboards are not full. Amen. It's when there's no money. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do we still trust God? Jesus. Do you still Jesus. trust Jehovah Jireh, our provider? Jesus. Oh, we're looking at the circumstances too much. Mm. Um, Jesus. Excuse me. And thirdly and lastly, very quickly, we're going we're going now to Abraham's triumph. Mm. He trusted God. He was tested, and now we're looking at his triumph. Hebrews eleven nineteen he says, concluding or other translation says, Abraham reasoned. Do you have a reason with God? <laughs> said, uh, Abraham reasoned with God. Uh, excuse me. He said, Abraham reasoned that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from which he also received him in a fig fig figurative sense. Now, we say that, how is how this going to work out for Abraham? God's promised to bless him, and yet he's asked him now to put his his um, vessel of blessing on the altar. Mm. It says here that God said that Abraham reasoned it out. If God who he says he is, he's able to raise Isaac from the dead. Amen. So I have no, I have no problem in, in laying him down as a sacrifice. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because I know God is well able to raise him Hallelujah, Jesus. to finish and fulfill the promise he gave Hallelujah, him. Jesus. Isn't that powerful? Hallelujah, Jesus. And he's saying, so that faith releases us to stop worrying about, if I give, if I give, I won't have. If I give, you know, if God's called us to give, he's going to make the provision Jesus. for what Jesus. he's called us to do. Jesus. 
See, this word reason, it comes from the Greek word meaning logic or taking inventory, reason, working out. The Old Testament says, God says to man, come, let us reason together. Mm. It's only time he asks us to reason it out. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as red as scarlet, I'll make them as white as snow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. How's God going to work it out for you? How's God going to work all this out? Mm. I don't know, but I know God said, and so I'm going to trust Amen. Him. Amen. See, Abraham trusted God because when he went to the mountain in Genesis 22, 5, he told his servants, right, we're going to go, I'll leave you there now. But listen to what he said to him. Wait here. Amen. Speaking of him and Isaac, we will be back. Hallelujah. Amen. He went in faith. Amen. He went knowing God had told him to sacrifice the very thing he'd always longed for. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he said, you wait here, don't go away, we'll be back. Mm. Arnold Schwarzenegger tried to nick that. <laughs> <laughs> and then in verse 8 of Genesis 22, Abraham said to her, Isaac, Isaac said, Father, where's, where's, where's the lamb for the sacrifice? God will provide. This is what he said to him, don't worry, son. God will provide. God will provide. Amen. Amen. Isn't that faith? Amen. Don't worry that the cupboards are empty. God will provide. Hallelujah, Don't Jesus. worry that you didn't get the job. God will provide. Don't worry if you need a new car. God will provide if you'll have faith in him. Praise God. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Abraham believed God. Mm. Abraham intended to obey. There was his faith. Sacrificing Isaac meant killing God's promise. How could Abraham believe it? It's because he believed God could raise the dead. Mm. Do you believe God could raise the dead? Amen. Do you believe God could raise your situation? Amen. Bring mm. life to it? Yes. Raise it. See, this is a picture of death and resurrection. of Jesus himself. God the Father sends his Son as a promise and blessing of hope and salvation. But with Jesus, there was no substitute for Jesus. No ram or thicket. The Bible said Jesus died. He died for you and he died for me. But Abraham had faith and he believed God could raise his son from the dead. Our Calvary. This is what said at Calvary, the crucifixion of Jesus. We see what God, excuse me, what God will do for the love of man. And his promise was being affirmed. He said, you were not with Elias on your own. So God asked Abraham for his most prized possession. Yes. Yeah. Isaac. See, we're often challenged for our Isaacs in life. Mm. It doesn't have to be a son. It could be a job. It could be a car. It could mm. be a call to ministry. Whatever God's calling you, that will be your Isaac. Mm. Hallelujah. Some people say, no, the, the, the price is too much. I'm not giving up my job to go into ministry. I'm not giving up my life. I'm not giving this up. I'm not giving that up. But Abraham, as we close, stood the test. Because of his faith in God, Abraham was willingly ready to give back to God what always belonged to God. That's ironic, isn't it? Amen. He was willing to give back to God what already belonged to God. Amen. So what's the lessons we're going to learn today? Is this, hold lightly to what you value greatly. Because in truth, it doesn't really belong to you and I anyway. Mm. Yeah. And that's a tough cookie to swallow. And secondly, 
God in his kindness brings us back to Moriah. Moriah is the place of sacrifice. Moriah later became Jerusalem. The place of sacrifice, the place of letting go. You going to get there with God? Jesus says sometimes you find yourself kicking against the pricks. Amen. And you come to that point saying, I can't take it anymore. I surrender. And God will bring us to that place where our faith will be in him alone. Oh, Jesus. Are you ready for your faith to be tested? Are you ready? Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? For the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you ready yeah. for the test of your faith? Jesus. Because you, you know, you're going to be tested whether you're ready or not. Amen. 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 We, used to, we used to play as kids, robbers not. Coming ready or not? <laughs> Are you ready to be proved by your choices and walking on obedience? Because remember what the Word of God says? It's better to obey than sacrifice. Let's bow our heads right now. Hallelujah. Father God, we come, we bow before you in humility this morning. Father God, we fight so much against the things that are around us, and yet we need to trust in you. We need to claim the promise. We need to stand on it. No matter what the circumstances around us are saying, you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us. And I'm going to stand on that in the midst Jesus, of darkness, Jesus. in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of those Jesus. things, because you cannot be found lying. As for me, Lord, I've trembled. I've gone the wrong way. I've done the wrong things. And yet today I'm coming back and I'm saying, Lord, thy will be done, not mine. choice today, friends, is what I want to leave you with. You either obey or you disobey. The choice is yours. Not the circumstances around you. The devil will always orchestrate them to turn you away. But are you strong enough to say, Jesus, Jesus. I'm not budging, I'm standing. The Apostle Paul said, I'm doing all, stand. Stand. You're precious to God. You're precious to God. He sent all that heaven could afford to purchase you and I back. You're precious to God. Even in the state you find yourself now, you're precious to God. Hold on. Don't give up. You're on the brink of a miracle. Amen. Father God, we thank you so much this morning. And I pray for each and every one in this room. Maybe you've come today you're not saved, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, I want to give you an opportunity before you leave this place to join the family of God, to join the born again believers of knowing Jesus as the Lord and Saviour. You've heard about Jesus, you've heard about Calvary, you've heard about sin and the price and the communion and the body and blood broken, you've heard those things. What will you do now? Will you obey or will you disobey? Will you make a choice today for Jesus? Say, here's my hand. Will you include me in this closing prayer? Is there anyone in here today, before we close, to say, I want to know Jesus as my Lord and Saviour, just like you've spoke about. I want to be a man. I want to be a woman of faith. I want to be a man. I want to be a woman of courage and make the right choice. Is that you today, friend? Will you walk out without making that choice? Jesus. We're not asking you to join this church. We're not asking you to sign anything. All we're asking is that you'll say, today I want to know Jesus. Mm. That's my Lord and Savior. Here's my hand. Slip it up and put it down again, and we'll be glad to pray with you. Is there anyone else who will come today and say, here's my hand. Pray for me. Father God, right now, we just thank you once again for your word. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we thank you most of all for Calvary, that you gave your life and answer for each and every one of us. And I pray, oh God, as you 
stir our hearts and lives, Lord, that those that don't know you, Lord, your Holy Spirit will continue to convince them of sin and of righteousness. In Jesus' name, give Jesus a big hand, hallelujah.